In this lesson, we are going to talk about subspaces. So the subspace of a vector space V is a subset H of V that satisfies three properties. Okay. The first property is that the zero vector in V must also be in H. Okay. The second property is that if you have, let's say, you, two, two vectors, okay, U and V, are, if they're both in H, and when you add those two vectors, U plus V, Okay, that also must be an H. Okay, and that property is known as the uh, it's known as clo being closed under vector addition. The third one is if you take a vector in H and the scalar value. Okay, then when you take the scalar times u, okay, times the vector u and H, uh, then that's also an H. Okay, so that is called what we call. Uh, H is closed under multiplication by scalars. Okay, so here's a, uh, here's a, a few examples. Okay, the first, the very, the most, the easiest example, the most simplest subspace is just the zero vector. Okay, and we can easily verify that. So obviously, the zero vector um, for the first property, since the zero vector is in V, therefore it's it's an H. Okay, so that's the first property. Okay, so zero vector is there. By default that's pretty so it's pretty obvious is okay second if we take right so if we take two zero vectors okay so we have a zero vector add it to another zero vector then obviously we're going to get the zero vector and that's an H okay so adding two zero vectors in H gives us back the zero vector in H Secondly, take any scalar, okay, times zero, and you get back the zero vector, and that's an H. Okay, so pretty, uh, pretty trivial actually. Okay, self-explanatory there. Okay, so therefore zero is the uh, the zero sp subspace. Okay, is is the uh, is a vector space in V as well. Okay. So zero subspace. So typically we write that as oops. so that is typically written as just a set and then the zero vector in that set. Okay. It's the most trivial subspace. Okay. The second one, the set of polynomials. Okay. So all right, so we need to show those three properties. Okay, so the first one. Okay, um, I'm gonna let. Oops. So just for notation, I'm gonna let p of t be equal to uh, a zero plus b zero t. Oops, let's make this consistent here. A zero plus a one t dot 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 plus a sub n, t sub n. So that's a general polynomial. Okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and define Q. So Q will make the uh, coefficients be B. So B0 plus B1, T plus B n, T to the n. Okay. So there's my two polynomials. So first of all, so for the first one, we have zero vector. So by letting, okay, so if we let A0 be equal to a1 all a n so let each co each of the coefficients be zero then we get p of t equals a zero so that is acting as the zero uh, vector okay so the zero polynomial is the zero vector and this is an obviously this is a right this is a still a polynomial so therefore this is an h okay Okay. All right, and where H is the set of polynomials. Okay, so we're calling this. Okay, we're calling this set H here. Okay. Secondly, okay, uh, let's move this one down. Okay. Secondly, uh, we need to show. Okay. okay, if we add two, 
Okay, so if we add two vectors in H, in this case we add two polynomials in H, then therefore the sum has to be in H. So we have P of T plus Q of T. Okay, so when we add these two, we're going to get A0 plus B0, okay, plus A1 plus B1 T plus T plus A sub n plus b sub n, t sub n, t to the power n. Okay, so this, because this is, this is a real value, this is a real value, and this is a real value. Okay. So therefore, uh, we show that p plus q is an h. this this whole this belongs in H okay thoroughly okay um, let's see be a scalar so let's see be some scalar okay then when we multiply okay if we take and I'm going to move this down a little bit more okay so if we let Okay, so if we take let C be a scalar and multiply it by P of T, then we get uh, C A0 plus C A1 T plus da 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 plus C A sub N T to the N. So again, just like from the second property, this is real value, this is a real value, this is a real value, because C C is a real value, A is the A values, the coefficients are real values. So when you multiply two real numbers, you get back a real number. Okay, so therefore, okay. So therefore, uh, C times the scalar times the polynomial is also in H. Okay, so therefore we showed three properties. Um, and therefore, thus H is a uh, subspace. Okay, and therefore, since it's a subspace, it's also a vector space in poly, of uh, the vector space, okay, for polynomials. Okay, the third example, okay. Okay, so we need to show, right, first thing is we need to show that the zero vector is there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let S and T are real numbers, so we're going to let S and t be zero. Then when we so when we plug these back into h, okay, so we get the zero vector. Okay. All right? So each of these components in this vector zero 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 is an h. Okay, that has that form. Okay, so again this is so this is a describing this set of vectors where S and T could be any real value and the third component has to be zero. Okay. Secondly, we need to take, pick two, two values in H, add them together and see if we get that same value back in H. Okay. So to do this, okay, we're gonna let, uh, let's see, let's choose. So what I can do is pick, okay, I can rewrite this as S1, T1, and 0. Okay. Plus, let's pick another one. Let's call this S2, T2, and 0. Okay. And we have to state, okay, we have to say that S1 and T1 are real. And so is so S1, T1, and so is S2 and T2. Okay, so when we add those together, okay, we get S1 plus S2, T1 plus T2, and then 0 and 0 is just 0. So therefore, this belongs to H. Okay, because this is a real value, this is a real value, and this is 0. Okay, so it has this. Right, so it has this form, 
Okay. So third property, we need to multiply by a scalar. Take a scalar, multiply it by s, t, and zero. And see if we get back something in h. So we get c times s, okay, c times t, and then zero. So remember here, well, c is a scalar. Okay, so therefore, okay, this, this belongs to H because this is a real value, this is a real value, and we got zero here. Okay, so it describes the form of H that we have. So therefore, all three properties are true, all three, right, all three axioms. So therefore, okay, right, H is a subspace, okay. The subspace of R of uh, R three in this case, right? Okay, so okay. okay. All right, so that's pretty much how you show a subspace. Okay, you have to go through again, see if the zero vector is in there. Okay, if the zero vector is in, if it's in V, then it's in H. Okay, um, pick two elements, two vectors in H, and you add them together. That has to be H, and then for every scalar, okay, for every scalar that you multiply by U in H, the product the the product of the scalar times the vector has to be an H as well. Okay, so that's how we can show. That's how we use the subspace property. Okay.